in the struggle, trying to make it through day by day. But cats like us never had a dollar to our name. We in the struggle, trying to make it through day by day. But cats like us never had a dollar to our name. We in the struggle, trying to make it through day by day. But cats like us never had a dollar to our name. Yeah. Never had a dollar to your name. Yeah. Never had a dollar to your name. As you know, now man, you are a heavyweight champ in the streets of the 559, Fresno Cali. I mean, you have dominated local rap battles after rap battle, live ciphers. And, and, and you know, that just proves in some of your live ciphers. I love it, man. I, I legit probably watched all the videos on YouTube because legit someone will be like, oh, you're overweight, this and that, go eat a cake. And then you'll just come back and legit destroy the MC. Then you'll destroy his family tree. You'll just pick him apart till he's just bones. Nothing's there, man. And I, I just want to give you props for that. But, man, could you tell us a little bit about the battles and the ciphers, maybe some of the MCs that you went up against, and how do you get on all of these official battles and ciphers as well? Well, there's a, um, there's a battle lead out here. They got a, they got a um, Facebook page, too. It's Power and Respect MC Battle Lead. If you type that in on Facebook, you can contact them, and you can get a battle booked. And the thing that I love about it is there is no politics. It doesn't matter how big you're following it is. You don't even need music on the Internet. You, you don't even need to be on the face of the earth. If you reach out to them, they will find you a battle, and you will be able to represent. But the thing about it is, it's going to be on camera forever. <laughs> if you come correct. If you don't come correct, then, you know what I mean? I feel sorry for you. But um, the battle scene is dope out here, man. It, it's, been, it's been going really well right now. We're expanding out to the 805. We, they got events in San Diego. So now we're going up and down in California with the Power and Respect movement. But yeah, man, I definitely love the battle scene. I love the energy. It's fun, man. Battles are entertaining. You don't... The thing about battles is you could go and there could be someone you never met before or have no clue. Uh -huh. But eight out of ten times, you're going to be entertained because jokes are always funny, bars are always good. So yeah, battles are definitely... There's always a good time at the battles. So... Battle lingos, if you guys want to get to know about me, my two favorite battles is MC Wiggs versus Rank in the third round, man. I ain't even going to say what happens. You just got to watch that, but it's classic. <laughs> um, me versus Decade, too. That's a really good one. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, man. That was classic, man. Hey, hey, is one of those videos when you're wearing the green hat in it? Yeah, I'm wearing the green hat, and I bring out the picture of the dude, girl. <laughs> yeah, man, that was so classic, dude. Right, right after I saw that, I was like, oh, man, Wix already has the upper hand. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, my whole thing is, my whole angle, you know, everyone's going to hit me with fat jokes, and, like, a lot of big people get all offended by it, by it but me, I don't, because I'll do the same thing, honestly. So if you hit me with fat jokes and get cheap laughs, and I hit them with jokes, and get cheap laughs, but the difference between me and them is I actually have style, I have rhythm, I have delivery, and I have in between, you know what I mean? Absolutely. I sprinkle the cheap laughs, but I also do what, I, what, I, what I'm here to do, and I'm here to kill MC man. so I also get real busy. 100%, man, that's so real. And y'all can check out the battles on YouTube.com, and, and that was Power and Respect, right? Power 106 and Respect? It's power and respect battles. That's all you gotta type in on YouTube, and there's just there's hundreds of battles you can watch in one day. Absolutely, yeah, I love it, man. You know, much props to that, man. You kill it. You always have my vote, man. And, and, and so now you're out there, man. You're doing your thing with the rap and the hip hop. How would you say it, it is being? Um, I just want to ask, what what exactly is your ethnicity? Uh, Chicano, Latin? Um, I'm Native American and Spaniard. You know, a lot of people think I'm lying and stuff, and that's cool, man, because I'm trying to definitely have a lying community behind me, man. <laughs> See what's up with them, with the Mexican girls, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, man, I feel that. I'm with them, too. I'm rocking with them, too. Hell yeah, man. I wouldn't mind a hind of myself. <laughs> But, yo, man, so I was going to ask you, how is it being, you know, a young Native American and Spaniard coming up in the game, you know, unsigned, independent? Do you feel like the game is missing a lyrical, you know, Spaniard, Native American MC that represents for something real, especially in the mainstream, 
And do you think that you guys get the respect that you should in the rap game? So, like, I got, I could go on and on about this. I was always just going to ask, how do you feel about the low riding, the typical topics are dispersed into the mainstream through Latin, Mexican, or even Native American hip-hop, X the low riders for that part. But you know what I mean? Well, yeah, I mean, as far as hip-hop right now, the state of it, honestly, I don't, I don't really care to even make it in the mainstream because the independent hustle is so strong and there's so much power in it. It doesn't matter what your background is. You could do stuff from nerdcore to hardcore to hip-hop. There, there's no line, you know what I mean? So... Right now, it doesn't matter who you are in the world. If you think race is holding you back, or you think your environment is holding you back, there's nothing holding you back besides yourself at the end of the day. And it's all about that independent us. Absolutely, man. I, I couldn't agree with you anymore, man. I really like that outlook and perspective. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, uh, uh, are, are you still affiliated with King's Records? Nah, I mean, I was with them for a while. We, we had a little a few month deal and stuff. And then I just decided to do my own thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's been fun good. I still I still got love. We're still affiliates. They're going to be drawing a, a, another album just for peace. Hell yeah. And I'm going to be rocking that. And yeah, it's all, it's still love when I see them. But I just felt like, um... I want to learn how to put food on my own plate, you know what I mean? Because I'm really in the struggle all right now. I don't got a nine to five and I don't got nothing. So it's rap or nothing. So when it comes to my plate, I need everything on it. And I want to be the only person responsible. If something goes wrong, I don't want to point fingers at, oh, this person made it happen, that happened, or that person did. So mm -hmm. It's better for me to be independent, you know what I mean? So I could just gain a lot more knowledge that way. And be able, you know, to craft your uh, your art more and pretty much be, have more creative freedom. And, and on April 25th, man, at 745 Fulton Street in Fresno, Cali, you got a mixtape release party going down for your release, Bump My Ish. What you got planned to go down at the mixtape party? And what can the fans expect to hear on Bump My Ish? After, after the release party, is going to be crazy, right? It's all ages. Hell yeah. If you're 21... If you're 21, you can drink, and it's craft beer. It's a local beer. Uh -huh. It all comes back to supporting the local scene. It's a lot deeper than just music, you know what I mean? We got local food spots. We got local clothing, videographers. It's going to be local everything. So it's definitely going to wake the city up and let them know that. We got people out here doing real things, so there's going to be beer out there. If you're 21, you can, get, you can rock with that. There's going to be food trucks. Uh -huh. And there's going to be live MCs. Earlier I mentioned Schoolyard. Uh -huh. The only Cubic from Schoolyard is going to be rocking. That's a legendary MC right there. 100. So Kaleidoscope from Sanger, California is coming down to bless the mic. Hell yeah. I'll keep it real. I'm going to just drop a little game on Kaleidoscope right now. For sure. A lot of rappers always want to say like, oh, this is my year or I'm next or whatever. Uh-huh. This girl, man, she has so much passion and such a strong message and a good delivery and everything that everything she does is on point for performance and everything and honestly I, be, I see her blowing up faster than anyone else I, I really believe that she's next hell yeah so i'm honored for her to be rocking on, on, on my next day release party and i got the homie dr ink too hell yeah hey 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 yo man and, and, and so, are there any features on the upcoming mixtape? And if people are in the local area, where can they pick up and hear the new release, man? Well, there's one feature out of 13 tracks. There's one feature with the homie DP. Straight up. Paper from Brown Paper Plains. I don't know if you're familiar with him. Have you collaborated with him before? or? Yeah, I got, I got some tracks with him online and stuff. I got like two or three videos. Hey, DJ, right? One of those tracks? With... Yeah, yeah. Play my song, play my song. We got on there, it's called West Coasting, and it comes back to, like, if you listen to my music, I got, I'm, I'm heavily influenced by the East Coast. I'm by, like, Boom Bap and MC, and, but every once in a while, I got to do, I got to do a West Coast anthem, and we got that West Coast flavor on that joint right there. That's the only collab, though. 
Hell yeah. And on the, uh, on the new project, I basically, I took it back to the basics. I took it back to the start when I was like freestyling and ciphering in the streets. When, when back in the days, like, it wasn't me trying to get onto a show. It was me trying to get into a cipher. Like, people don't realize how much that means when you really love this, you know? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I took it back to that state of mind, just that rugged rhyminess. And, um... I'm just straight spazzing. There's a lot of tracks where I'm spazzing, but I got a good balance and everything. I honestly believe that this project is my most diverse project that I've ever created so far. And here the growth more than ever. Absolutely, man. And, and, you know, I'm looking forward to it, man. I can't wait to hear what you got, you know, in store for us, man. And, and let's go back a little bit, man. You said, you know, you're going back to the days when before you were able to get into the club, man, before you are able to get into the ciphers. Can you explain to us how that feels, man? When was it when you were finally able to be involved with that, when they finally let you into the club, man, because they knew you could rock the mic? I might have been, I was around 17 when I started getting in the clubs, and man, it's been definitely a hassle how to get snuck in the back of some. I had to get the club and get in there and get that in there. I got a little right there and they kicked me out before I rock. So I'm so happy that now I'm going to be 21 and I don't have to deal with all of the politics and all the other side stuff. But yeah, 17 is really when I first started rocking. And ever since then, I've just been going hard. Uh, that is the battle scene. That's why I, I got to go back to the battle scene and I got to speak to the youth. There ain't a lot of open mics out here. There ain't a lot of uh, all ages venues. So for any young MC that's trying to shine, that the battle route is the right way to go. If it wasn't for battling, I wouldn't be on the scene until right now, probably. Straight up, man. That's the truth, right there, man. And like, unlike a lot of MCs, man, you took it straight to the streets, you know, for real. And that and that's how you built your craft, man. You are where you are today. And, and after these next few projects, man, where would you like to see yourself as an MC in the Fresno hip hop scene? Well, the goal definitely is to be legendary and to, to represent my region. And there's been some people that did that already, but I'm trying to hold it down for the next generation. And I'm looking out for young MCs that are dope out here too. So in a few years, I just hope that I got a bigger fan base. I hope that I'm traveling a little bit more. That's my next thing. I'm trying to move around California. That's my main goal right now is to get outside of Central California because I've been holding it down over here so long. And, and it's and way more than Fresno. I've been rocking Merced, Porterville, Visalia. Hell yeah. Jumping around here, so I need to just expand. That's my, that's my goal. Gotta come up in the world that's corrupt. That's why we always stay stuck.